What's up, YouTube? This Rose go back again with another video, and I check it out. So, Legina Gold. I found out her real name is Angela. And with that being said, in this video, she will be considered lasagna, like I've been calling her ass. Now, lasagna then made it all the way to real life productions on YouTube. So, shout out to Real Life Productions, because that's what a podcast or, or a vlogger or a blogger, that's what they're going to do. They're going to use the content. All right? People, Aaliyah died in 2001. May she rest in paradise. And it's been 22 years, people. She waited 22 dog on me years to bring her ass out. I'm talking about this and that. There are a lot of questions being asked, but I mean, I got through like maybe 20, 25 minutes of the interview that aired today. And I'm confused, distracted. I'm speechless, all in one, people. Uh, you know, she's all dressed up and stuff, got this wig on and makeup and lipstick, as if this was going to make you look like you belong to Aaliyah and R. Kelly. See, one thing about shit like this that pisses me off is because Not only just being a fan of Aaliyah, you know what I'm saying, and her and uh, the history, and you know the uh, her career, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's seeming like certain people not respecting Aaliyah, man. They never did, man, because we all know when you do when you talk about Aaliyah and R. Kelly in an interview, you have to bring up look. If you just talk about Aaliyah by herself, people are going to bring up what? R. Kelly. And so, that's messed up because nobody wants to keep hearing this about Aaliyah. R. Kelly is a different story. You see what I'm saying? But why we got to bring up Aaliyah? 22 dog on me years, man. 22 years, people. Do you hear me? Lasagna got to be stopped. I'm telling you, man. This shit's not going to end well. Um, You got uh, Jaguar Wright. She has a uh, 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 com network. And, and Lasagna is going to be on there. Yeah. Um, And they supposed to hypnotize her on one of the episodes, it's supposed to be like a six, a six little part thing, you know, in six parts, they're going to show this shit, part one, all the way to six, right, and, um, one of those, actually, one of them already aired, I did not watch that, because I'm not going over there to Deladelphia.com, if you want to, you can go in, you know what I'm saying, um, fuck that shit, um, so, one, one, one scene, she's supposed to be hyp hypnotized, I guess asking her questions, trying to make her remember shit. Um, look. Damn. This shit's out of control, man. I would have thought by now this shit would have died down a little taste, but no, she, she's everywhere now. And, bruh. She looks nothing like R. Kelly's children. He has some children. She looks nothing like them. I'm mad as an Aaliyah fan because, bruh, I was a teenager when Aaliyah died, bro. Like, I think Aaliyah is like a, a year older than me. Something like that. 
She's probably like a year or two older than me. But at the same time, I think I was a teenager when she died. But that's neither here or there. This is, you know, it's crazy. And then on top of that, you got LL Cool J supposed to have his son. He's on TikTok now. He's come out after her. And I went to his TikTok and I'm like, He does look just like him when he got the hat on. But I go through his page and he looks nothing like him. It's when he put that hat on, though, he looks exactly like the man. I don't know how that shit works, but his body frame, his height and all of this shit, it doesn't equal up. Now, I know you, you don't have to be, you know, the same height as your daddy. and, and But come on, man. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be the same height as your daddy. The sun. You see? Or damn near taller than your dad. You know what I mean? Like, like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, bruh. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Dude look just like him. No, I'm talking about everything. When he put that hat on, he looks exactly like El Kuja. But that don't mean that's his son. You feel me? It's like, what? Why? Why are people coming out saying they are somebody's Child. Okay. I'm done with the LL Cool J shit. Alright. But I tell you what. So Todd Smith. Your ass need to check this young guy. If that's not your seed bruh. You know. If that's not your seed. I wish these people nip it in the butt. Now we had the Jay Z. Daughter and son. Look just like his ass. That shit went away quick, you know. I, I shit, I couldn't tell you if that's the people's dog on me children or not. I was not there, you know. But this lasagna girl, come on, man, come on, man. I need to go find me from watching that shit so I can go get me a psychiatrist. Message, get to this. I need a go fund me, people. Huh? From watching that shit. So I go get me a dog on me psychiatrist. And if that doesn't help you to. Uh, donate. Well then Tupac's my daddy. Now we all love Tupac don't we? Oh we ain't got love for the east coast. For the west coast. You know what I'm saying? Tupac's my daddy. <clears throat> Tupac's my daddy. Huh? Whitney Houston is my mama. Message get to this. May they rest in paradise. Right? People. People, people, people. The girl is... <laughs> what next show she gonna be on other than Real Life Productions? Daladelphia.com Network and all this shit. Huh? This shit's got to stop in the name of Aaliyah. I, ca I can't. I can't with this shit. This might be the last time I talk about. The reason why I say it might be the last time I talk about lasagna only because only if something else come out. Now, if, if those interviews over there at Philadelphia get, get, get leaked and shit like that, yeah, I'm probably going to talk about the one that she get hypnotized on. Uh, But other than that, man, I'm cool. I, I ain't got time. You talking about 22 Years ago, Aaliyah died. Lasagna, I'm sorry to tell you, but your parents failed you, young lady. All right? Her parents failed her. All right? Now, she really can't remember who raised her for real. It's like, who raised you? For them to carry on that Aaliyah is your mama. This young lady needs to be talked to every day. From a professional. Until she is considered alright. To be in society. Because you cannot go around saying. Aaliyah is your mama. And R. Kelly is your daddy. 
And then everywhere you go, people are going to bring up this R. Kelly shit. If she really had love for Aaliyah, she wouldn't want the R. Kelly shit coming up. You see what I'm saying? It's like, damn. Okay, we... That shit's old, girl. But people are, are you know, the way society is built today is sad because we, some of us, will go along with what she's saying. But if I come out and say, Tupac is my daddy, I wonder if people would really believe me. There's no way I can prove it. Uh, I'm gonna go get hypnotized, so a hypnosis, so so that 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 I can prove it to you. I don't look like nobody in his family. But I'm telling you, Tupac is my daddy. Her parents failed her, man. And it's sad, man, because this shit right here is, is you know, not only is she exploiting herself, bro, and others are helping. Um, You know, you, you're opening up old wounds. You know what I'm saying? Um, R. Kelly, look, Aaliyah has passed on. R. Kelly is doing forever in a day in jail, in prison. And this is what you can talk about. You want people to believe you are their child. But it's more. Hold on. She wants people to believe that she is their child more than the fact. <sighs> this shit's crazy. So, yeah. She, she wants to believe that. She wants other people to believe that more than the fact that she believes that. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's like she wants everybody else to believe this so that it can be more real to her. That's some crazy shit, people. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's sad, though, because, man, come on, man. How you going to do Aaliyah like this, man? This type of shit. Because, look, even if she was a leader daughter, right? Hypothetically speaking. This is something you don't handle in the public. What is it going to change? Even if you got Aaliyah parents in her side of the family or R. Kelly's side of the family, attention. They're not obligated to love you. They're not obligated to say, oh, I'm sorry, all these. They're not obligated to do any of that shit. If it mysteriously come out that, yes, she is their daughter. You see what I'm saying? Like, what do you want from these people? What do you want from the world? Because it don't matter who you are. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes her anything. Like, what are you talking about? This shit is ridiculous. I wish I could have a petition so everybody can sign it. The petition will say, lasagna, kiss my ass. Message, get to this. Go take two of these, huh? And call me in the morning. Go take two of these and call me in the morning, man. Aaliyah. Why Aaliyah can't rest in peace, man? Why we? Why y'all doing this, man? Why is she doing this? That's what I asked myself. I couldn't even watch the whole damn interview. I'm just like, man, come on, man, bro, stop. 
But shout out to Real Life Production. Shout out to whoever she's been on their platform and stuff. Because this is just, you know, that's what pe- that's what bloggers do. That's what the YouTube streets do. You know what I'm saying? And once this young lady, five minutes of fame is over, will she get the help she needs? Because during this, she's damn sure not getting the help she needs, people. How can she? When you doing stuff like this, no, you need to be talking to somebody 24-7 professionals. Yeah, 24-7 professionals. Yes, you do. Because it, it defeats the purpose of going to see somebody, a professional. You see what I'm saying? You can't go to a therapist, you know, or whatever you want to call it, uh, once a week. And then you back in the real world and people still, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not helping you when you go, what the fuck? Her parents failed her, whoever they are. Come get her ass. They failed her. From day one. Now, see, I never, I can't understand, did she say Aaliyah was her mama? Or did somebody tell her this? And she believed it. See, you can make up excuses all day of why she's doing this. But this is the thing. She needs help, bruh. You can't do this like this. Coming on here, okay. Talking about it, getting it off your chest is one thing, right? But are you going to go get help, sweetie? Because you need to go get help. Because you can't be doing that shit. Now you got LL Cool J son thinking it's cool. His alleged son. I signed an a NDA, non-disclosure agreement, you know. Um, yeah, he would send me like $200 a month. I always wanted to know why I wanted to rap and, and be an actor. Now I know. Now, the Jay-Z son that came out, I believe that's his son. That that girl that came out, I kind of believe that's her, his daughter because they look like him. Now, I know everybody has a twin. It's going to be somebody that look like me in this world. It's going to be somebody that resemble somebody that's watching this video. I get it. And they ain't no kin to you. I get it. But this shit, lasagna, man, come on, man. And then her name ain't even Legina. Her name is really Angela. So, I don't understand because if somebody was like that around me, I wouldn't feel safe. I would be, I, 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 and no, you can't live with me because I don't know if you're going to snap the fuck out because first of all, you saying Aaliyah, your mama, and you dead ass serious. And, and, and I don't understand why people aren't saying, look, we've, we the people have never seen Aaliyah pregnant. When she was doing, during her career, she was back to back to back in her career. And, and as much as they was on Aaliyah about the chaos and, and, and all this crazy shit, nobody ever says she was pregnant, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and even if they did, that shit blew over because nobody believed even that. Because of the simple fact, we never seen Aaliyah out of shape having a baby. What? And these are the distractions, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, I'm going to make this the point of the video. Lasagna right now is a big ass distraction. I don't care what nobody say. Because it's a lot of other shit that's going on in this world. And she's being a distraction by saying she's a Leah daughter. I, I can't, God damn it. <sighs> Look, people. <sighs> I'm doing a GoFundMe for a psychiatrist, my damn self, after watching this shit. Uh, after entertaining this shit, right? Watching her answer these questions and da da this and that and keep saying Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. 
it, it, it hurt my heart. I ain't gonna lie, cause like I said, I'm a big fan of Aaliyah, and and I and Aaliyah don't deserve this shit, man. Aaliyah don't deserve this shit, man. Now, if you want to expose why she got on that plane, which which if you are a big Aaliyah fan, you you was on this case like white on right all through your life, damn near, until you find out the truth. So, if you know, you know why she got why they try to hurry up her to get on that plane and da 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 this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's all sad, people. You know what I'm saying? When Aaliyah died, that was a sad moment, bruh. I don't understand why people are letting her do this, bringing her on their platforms and letting her say these things about Aaliyah. R. Kelly is another story, but Aaliyah, bruh? Man, you can look, hey, messing around and discrediting Aaliyah, man, can, can, in my eyes, ruin, ruin some people, man. I'm telling you, by, by egging on with this, with this lasagna girl, cause, cause I'm telling you, man, that shit ain't cool. And if you, like I said, if you a real Aaliyah fan, man, you feel my pain, like, bro, leave Aaliyah alone, bro. It's been 22 damn years. So, people, in conclusion of this video, let me know what you think in the comments. But, before your ass go, I got a GoFundMe. My dog on me, Cash F is dollar sign R O S E G O L D D E E. Two D's now. Rose Gold D. Yeah, that's my real dog on me, Cash F. Because I'm trying to go to a psychiatrist after this. And then, on top of that, people, um, Tupac is my daddy. You can you can donate to the cash app for that too. Tupac is my daddy. Because see, this is a trend. Now you got people believing that Aaliyah's her mama. Why I can't say Tupac my daddy and get paid too? I'm just saying. Matter of fact, why don't we all just switch parents? You see what I'm saying? Why don't we all just just hey, hey? This celebrity, my mama and my daddy. Not one celebrity is her parent, but two. Two. People. Don't forget to cash at me for uh my my, my psychiatrist, my therapist. And I advise everybody to go watch this interview shout out to real life productions so that you can also get you a gofundme going too so we all can get a piece of this action because this is it's looking like this the trend you got ll cool j son coming out alleged son i mean who's next huh who's next i think it would be more believable if i said spike lee was my daddy message get to this matter of fact they both is message